Daniel and DJ from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, we've got something really exciting to talk about tonight. I, I wanted to put together a, an actual video for this, but um, I don't know. Sometimes it's easier just to do it on a live stream. We'll probably talk about this a bunch over the next month or so, but uh, we'll give it a couple minutes to let a bunch of people jump on here. DJ and I are just sitting on the patio. If you kind of get a sneak peek of Houston's new fish pond behind us. Um, we don't have any fish in it yet, but the next couple videos are going to be, well, let me just say the next video we put out will be the pond build with um, Aquascape, and then the next video is kind of a follow-up to that and a cleanup of the mess. <laughs> There's quite the mess, but uh, that's not what tonight's video is about. Tonight's video is about something that Dutch and I have been talking about doing for a very long time. I think probably a a bunch of you have already seen his video. He put out a video earlier today. The reason I'm kind of bouncing back yeah, and forth is I am too. We're, we're recording on Facebook and YouTube at the same time um, on two different phones. So we'll make it work. Bear with me if I'm looking off in the distance and not talking to you, I apologize. But um, Dutch and I have always tried to help each other out. We've always kind of had this competition, I would say from like, probably 3,000 subscribers on. We were, I'm not just gonna say competing with each other, but we've always kind of had this level of competition and pushed each other. A healthy, nice kind. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's always been interesting through this whole YouTube, Facebook growth stuff of um, tr trying to figure out ways to grow a channel, trying to figure out ways to grow a platform. And I feel like Having found Dutch at the time, we, we found each other's channels and um, we were about the same size and we were able to, to bounce ideas off of each other and go back and forth. And like we had never met in person for the probably the first two years that we were friends. Yeah. Maybe longer than that. I don't that remember. And, uh, but we've got to be close friends, talk every day. And when it was come to YouTube strategy and video strategy and, hey, what are you doing? Hey, how's this working out? It was probably the most beneficial thing we ever did was find somebody to bounce ideas off of and to compete with. And Dutch beat me to every milestone for the first like three years. Like he had more views. He had more viral top videos. He beat me to 100,000 subscribers. I think he beat us to 200,000, but I can't remember. But um, anyways, that's been like huge, 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 huge for the, the growth of my ch channel. And we always tried to help Gemma creeping in the background looks like a squirrel back there yeah we um, always tried to help other channels out and do everything we could to help people grow and just giving shout outs um, we just pick a channel that we enjoyed watching and give them a shout out not even tell them we were doing it you know and uh, it was kind of a cool thing to, to be able to help people and last fall Dutch and I went to uh, vid summit in LA it was a really cool youtube type growth conference with a lot of incredibly large channels like mr beast was there with what's mr beast got 90 million subscribers or something it's crazy so i think people are struggling to hear us on the facebook um well there's not much i can do about it hmm. what wi-fi are you on i don't know i can't Check it now. If you can't hear us on Facebook, switch over to YouTube. That's I can't stop both of these yeah. live feeds. Um, I'm talking loud. I promise you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, if you can't hear us on YouTube, I mean on Facebook, switch over and follow us on YouTube. Because yeah. everybody on YouTube says they can hear us just fine. Yeah. Um, it's DJ's phone. I don't know what's going on there. No, it's been weird all day today, so I'm sorry. So, we went to this this video creators conference in LA and it was cool. It was a lot of fun. Got to meet a lot of people and there were, it was, it was more geared towards what I would call viral content, like creators that are trying to put out videos that are getting in the first week or something crazy, you know, nothing wrong with that. That's just not channels on consistency and just slow growth and just keep chipping away and chipping away in community. I think that's huge. I think a lot of people, skip that step and don't try to build a community around their content. I think that's, that's really important. Anyways, so 
while we were at this conference, Dutch is like, we need to do this. We need to do this. We need to do this. He's been on me about conferences and stuff. And uh, apparently we're having some hard time with your phone well, on Facebook. It, some of them are saying they can hear just fine. It's just the crickets they're hearing. Oh. It's loud. Yeah. We live in the country and the crickets are loud. Yeah. DJ didn't want to do the live stream inside, so we're out. It's too nice. On our like, patio. We actually got this, like, cold old front that came through last night and it was only like 87 today so we're taking advantage yeah so anyways here's what we're doing we're announcing this today dutch did a video we're putting together a conference that's going to be here in oklahoma um the last weekend in august it's like on a friday night and a saturday a two-day conference and we've got a website i put a link in the description box it's called video creators united and I'm just going to tell you right up front that I know a lot of people are going to struggle with this and be upset and mad. Tickets are $500 per person. But let's talk about that. So this is being held at a, I've got my laptop sitting here next to me, at a big conference center in Broken Arrow. And there are links on, on the website to all of this stuff. It's like a big conference center, a hotel. Basically, they kind of take care of everything for us in a lot of ways. It's like a big rustic retreat lodge type thing. And we're only selling 200 tickets because it's our first time doing something like this. But so we're going to have everybody come in on a Friday evening. It's a two day event. We'll come in on Friday evening and kind of have like a like break the ice, meet and greet. Not really meet and greet. This isn't about fan stuff. Um, this isn't for like a fan meet and greet event, but just like a get to know everybody type deal a short session we're going to provide dinner it's going to be catered and it is a hotel so everybody you know you can get a room at this uh conference center and basically friday night's going to be just like a short short session of classes what do you want houston you can come in if you want but i'm not a i'm just talking I know. I so friday night um we'll be just a few hours and then we'll hit it early saturday morning and we'll have basically a full day saturday we're going to provide like a light breakfast we'll provide lunch all the snacks drinks everything um, basically you just pay for your travel to get there and your room and we're taking care of food and everything else um i have no idea what's going on with your facebook connection but so we're gonna have several speakers come in and that's this is part of the reason we have to charge a little more we're gonna have uh, dutch and i'll speak um on different things like everybody's got a little bit different story when it comes to growth on youtube and growing their channel youtube facebook all that stuff i kind of have a little bit different um perspective um than like dutch does but we're also going to have jason from cog hill farm jason's going to come in and speak jason's got a really cool youtube um, journey, story, whatever. If you go back and look at Jason's channel two, three years ago, like Dutch and I and several other people were like, man, this guy is going to blow up. He's going to explode. His channel is going to be huge. And it just, because he had like the coolest looking videos out there. Like he did such a good job editing. It was like perfect. It's like watching a movie, but it never happened. And then like, over time he changed up his editing style it wasn't like as cinematic and everything and it went to just more of a narrative style and his channel it blew up it exploded then and it got really big this is really bugging me with facebook I, i'm gonna go into your settings where's your settings over here okay what wi-fi are you on let's try this one Facebook's giving us a hard time, guys. Um, so, so uh, Jason's got a really cool, you know, his experience is a little bit different. And then we're gonna have Lester from I'm a Survivor. Like, you don't see Lester out in public. This guy doesn't show up to conferences and events. So Lester and Jamie are both coming. And Lester, if you, if you don't know Lester, you need to go check him out, is the master storyteller. Like, if you watch Lester's videos, whether you agree with his point of view or not, or agree with what, he's, what he does with his sanctuary, his storytelling is unbelievable. And he can take an animal, give it a, a, a character, and a, you know, you're crying because of something that happened to you when you were a child. Like, he's a storyteller, and that's huge. 
on video creation. Like, you've got to be able to tell a story as a beginning, the middle, and the end. You've got to, you know, a climax, and you got to have truth. So, and then Jamie, if you if you watch Jamie suffer, Jamie is um, the other the other half of I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, and she's kind of the the tech guru when it comes to it. Lester will be the first one to tell you he doesn't he's not a tech guy, like doesn't do technology and if it was up to him he probably would just be shooting piddly little videos and just trying to figure out somebody to upload them for him is basically what he says and jamie has been instrumental in their whole family's like i don't even know what you call it like like their youtube facebook creator community of their whole family's got channels and pages yeah. and it's all about the same animals but it's everybody's different perspective and she kind of runs that there's so much more to the business side of it than just creating a video and hitting the upload. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I know this isn't going to be something for everyone and I totally get it. So who is it for? In my opinion, it's for someone that is already creating content, creating video content for Facebook or YouTube that has an audience that they're looking to grow that audience. They're looking for, um, I, not a step-by-step -step guide, but, connections and people that have done it and been there and can teach you the steps this is not for somebody who says i want to start a youtube channel but i don't even know how to make a video i don't know how to edit i don't know how to upload i don't even have a facebook or youtube account but that's not we're not we're not we're not trying to teach you how to start a a youtube channel this is just just like our way of being able to come alongside you and and offer some tips and advice from things that all of us have learned and there's one other speaker i didn't really talk about and it's not a youtube creator it's not a facebook creator it's more for a an app a different platform and i'm not going to go into all that right now you'll have to look them up it's it's called gig um but anyways so this is for people it doesn't matter how big your channel is how big your page is but it, it's for people that are creating content that are looking to grow and capitalize on that there's there's so much of a business side to this stuff that that just literally on your own takes years to learn to a channel to grow and donovan lives a cool life he's got an off getting that getting the ball rolling he's putting out content but it's not really taking off like he would hope or expect and that's the kind of people like he would hope or expect and that's the kind of people that we're looking for in my opinion you're frozen this one's frozen if you'll remember last sunday we had heck with our internet like everyone in town did well it is what it is I... check your can you do that we'll be back yep yeah. it's starting to catch up so the walker said they're booking rooms at the venue as we speak such an amazing venue yeah i'm telling you go to the website um and there are links to the venue so we put links in the description box video creators united um tickets are on sale for the event right now we're trying we're still working on some of the details still trying to get everything ironed out but the venue alone looks really cool and here's the thing we're limiting this thing to 200 people because we want this to be personal personal yeah. and it's not just a it's not a, meet and greet. it's not a meet and greet it's not really a fan thing we don't care it's not going to be about how big everybody's channel is or not having a competition or anything like that it's just we want to be able to spread some of this knowledge between the five or six speakers that we're going to have plus all the other creators that are there you're going to have a chance to to sit down and talk to people that are doing exactly what you're doing. Yeah. Everybody's journey is a little bit different. Um, everybody's journey is a little bit different. Like my YouTube, Facebook video journey was slow, slow, slow. And it was like over time, like DJ found a, a, a memory that popped up on Facebook that from like 2018, mm -hmm. we'd gone to uh, M.I. Gardner's grand opening for his store in Michigan and this post was like this this huge youtuber invited us to this event 
And at the time, I think he had like 300,000 300, subscribers. 000, so yeah. he's like half where we are now. But at the time, like we saw that as like the ultimate, mm -hmm. like he was mega big. And she said like one of the lines that she had in her Facebook post was like, Daniel's been working at this for a couple of years and he's already at 20,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. I was there, I was grinding it out. If you go back and look at all of our old YouTube videos from five, six years ago, it was a learning process and there were no big channels out there that were helping us. Like when I first got started, there was one channel that, that kind of gave me a shout out, but she had like 20,000 subscribers, I think at the time. And I think I gained 400 subs, but there was no, there were no like two. That's what we want to do is get everybody together. It's not just farm channels. It's not just homestead channels. That's probably mostly what will be there. I feel like, cause that's, our neck of the internet with all the speakers that are coming but uh it could be for anybody that's just trying to grow a video platform and we're going to talk about everything from our personal journey to um you know what it takes to go behind the scenes on the business side because there there's so much that that entails you know there's my a lot my journey mm -hmm. was incredibly slow dj's channel obviously has been totally different. She's got a totally different perspective because we have an audience, but once she started her channel, like uh, she was at 20, she hit 30,000 subscribers today. I did. And hey. what, three months or two months? Two months. Yeah, like I can't imagine that. But her journey and what she's seen from the main channel and then stepping out on her own and starting a channel and going from going from someone who was just a, let's say a, a supporting role on videos to someone that's got to come that up with content. Right. Yeah. But now you've got to come up with your own content. Yeah. You've got to come up with your own ideas and that's tough sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes so. it is. Sometimes like when I'm even just doing photography posts, I struggle with captions. <laughs> like what am oh, I going to title this? Yes. Like what am I going to say just about these seven pictures I'm posting. Like I struggle with that. So to come up with the, the ideas for content can be challenging. Like you, you think by looking at his or other people's channels that it just like, looks like it comes to them very easy. And I think sometimes it does, especially when you've done it as long as they have, but like it can be challenging. So all this kind of stuff is what we're gonna, we're gonna talk about. <clears throat> all right, Bruce. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address this comment because I know this comes up. I get it. 200 people at $500 a person, that's $100,000 for a couple of days. That's not helping people. That's gouging people in my opinion. Okay. I get it, Bruce. I totally understand. You have no idea what we're paying these guys to come in to speak. You have and no food. clue. Food is outrageous. Food is and outrageous. I'm not going to deny that we're, we're going to make money on this, sure. but it's work. We're going to put in a lot of work behind the scenes, and we have put in a lot of work mm -hmm. to build this. And it costs money to do those things. The venue alone costs a lot of money. The website alone was yeah. expensive. Like, it, there's a lot of things. I get it. I know. It's simple to do the math. At 200 people at $500 a person, okay, that's hundred grand. But that's not $100,000 in profit. No. no. And... Yes, we will make money on the thing. There's no doubt we'll make money on it. But nobody goes to work for free. That's right. That's it. Like, yep. duh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't mean to be rude. I'm not trying to sound like a jerk, but we're not putting this on for free. We're trying to help people. But we're taking time out of our life. We're taking time out of our day-to-day -day schedule to, to do this to help people because we... We want to help people, and um, that's not free. So, it's a two-day event. Listen, guys, I, I get it. If you're if you're wanting to grow a video platform, you or any business, there's nothing wrong with investing in your business. If DJ's a photographer, and if she finds a conference that's going to help grow her photography business, it's worth spending a couple thousand dollars for if you're seriously wanting to grow that business. And that's where a lot of people are at. And I get it, it's not for everyone. I totally understand. There's, listen, if you're just starting out on YouTube and this isn't for you, go to YouTube and just type in how to grow a YouTube channel. There's 
hundreds of hours of content to teach you that stuff. But this is, this is a little bit different. This is gonna be more one-on-one. -on -one. And um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth $500, bar none. Just, just Lester, just, just think about this. Lester from I'm a Survivor Sanctuary has what, 1.6 million followers on Facebook. The guy is literally putting out three or four videos a day some days, plus several short reels. He is a master at what he does. He's not charging us what he should be charging us, but there, it's not out of the question that somebody with his level of expertise could make $20,000 to put on a conference like this for one speaker. Mm -hmm. That's not out of the question. No. Jason, the same story. Dutch, me, you know, whoever. It, it takes money to do these things, so. But the knowledge there is invaluable, so. I know it's not for everybody. Listen, I get it. But uh, if this is something you're interested in, Video Creators United website is up. <coughs> Excuse me, go check it out. We're gonna try to do our best to keep everybody in the loop as to changing plans and what's going on and how this is all gonna look. Um, this is our first time putting on an event like this. I know the, the Homesteader conference that Dutch and Kevin did was a huge success. I know tickets are like 20, 30 bucks. Totally different style of event. Like that's just a, a come and go event. That's not really a, a training conference for a business. And it was a fun event. I get it, tickets 20, 20 bucks or whatever. Makes perfect sense. So. Um, I don't want to keep babbling on this. This thing's open for any video creator. We're going to talk about how to monetize multiple platforms between YouTube, Facebook, whatever else. You know, there's so many opportunities and avenues and revenue streams. I mean, one of the things I, I swore before I quit my career to step out and do this stuff full time was I was not going to quit my job until I had multiple revenue streams set up across multiple platforms for that safety net because how many times have we heard you better not quit your job YouTube could fall apart tomorrow it could it definitely could and that's why we had YouTube we had Facebook we had merchandise we have all these different things the way of like when we got hacked on Facebook last year um, we lost a lot of money last year when we got hacked on Facebook Facebook sent more than what I made in a year as a trooper to some bank in Belgium and there was nothing I could do about it. it like we didn't get paid from February until December. Straight up, like it happens. I get it. That's real. We lost a lot of money. So anyways. Yep. So uh, go back to the website real quick okay. and... Uh, the dates are August 26th. Scroll back up, babe. It's right there. Oh, it's in multiple it. places. <laughs> uh, August 26th and 27th. Yep. A Friday evening. Stay the night. Friday night. All day Saturday. In, is it Tulsa? Well, it's just outside of Tulsa in Broken oh, Arrow. Broken Arrow. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. the Stony Creek Hotel in Broken Arrow. And there's a link to that, like I said, on, on the Video Creators United website. Check out the check out the venue. I mean, it looks like a place. Looks more like a resort, a resort. than yeah, a hotel. It, does. it really does. Super um, nice. I don't think they should call it the Stony Creek Hotel based off of their pictures, but right. um, it's kind of in the Tulsa area. So if you're out of state, you can fly into the Tulsa airport, and or then Oklahoma. you can fly in Oklahoma City or Tulsa. But Tulsa's right there, so um, it'd be close by. You know, I think probably an hour and a half from the Oklahoma City airport in probably 30 or 40 minutes from the Tulsa airport. So not not difficult to get to. Um, we're gonna provide food Friday night, Saturday, and um, have a great time. We're just gonna get to know each other, get to know each other's channels. This is a networking opportunity that that I feel like is huge. Yeah. Dutch Super and I exciting. stumbled upon each other and collaborated for years. Uh, not everybody agrees with Dutch's channel. Not everybody agrees with my channel. Not everybody agrees with me and Lester being friends or me and Jason being friends. That's fine. But these people know what they're doing and they're successful at it. So the more I can rub elbows with people doing what I do, I can learn little things from them 
And that's what this conference is about. You never know who you're going to run into that you might be able to collaborate with in the future and help grow your platform. So, yep. Yeah. Sorry for all of the bad internet. Yes. Jeez. I mean, we're just two country people sitting on our <laughs> yeah. patio. Obviously, we're With not doing anything crickets. professional. Yeah. All the crickets, the dog, the water. Yeah. So, um, should we address the elephant in the room? Um, yeah, because I'm a little, yeah. Someone said Lester's name spelled wrong. Yeah, I told you that the other day. Yeah, she was supposed to change that. I wonder why she didn't. We'll get that fixed. Um, the yeah. elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that there's not an ostrich here. There's no ostrich in the room. Yeah. And, um, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it in. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back, uh, a lot of my thoughts because a lot of you people, I love most of you people, you had a lot of thoughts about the situation and came at me. Uh, and I was not happy with some of our fans. Um, maybe you should talk. <laughs> Listen. The, the whole ostrich thing, Lester was preparing for two weeks to bring Sue up here. And we lost Rufus. But that was like a week before. Like the, the Rufus video was held for almost a week before I posted it because I wanted to wait and see if we could find out any more any information or anything come up. You just never know. I don't like to jump the gun and post accusations. But Lester called the day before and said, hey, we got a lot going on. It looks like you guys are busy. We were doing the pond build, you know. He said, hey, let's just hold off on the ostrich thing for a couple of days. We'll figure it out later. I said, that's perfectly fine. I don't want you guys to be have any extra stress. Just do what you gotta do and we'll get together and get Sue eventually. It's not a big deal. It's not a rush. But I mean, I will say, I don't want to wait and get her when she's taller than me. No, no. <laughs> she still needs to be a baby. Yeah, I, I but, want her to be a baby. But <clears throat> for whatever reason, a lot of people took it. Just so happened that DJ posted the video of her getting four new donkeys the same day as Lester did a live video and said that they weren't able to come up here. And for nothing against Lester, Lester didn't do anything wrong. But our fans and Lester's fans, for some reason, some people twisted the story and said that we backed out on Lester and that we were... That we didn't take the ostrich because I got the donkeys. Well, I got the donkeys days before that video aired. Obviously, that takes time. Uh, and And then... There was crossover with them not coming. There were overlap days, and some of the the people came at me and said some very hateful things. Sent like, some very hateful emails. Yeah. Uh, I had to tell this one person to stop emailing me because I wasn't going to engage anymore um, after they said some really hateful things. And I'm just I'm not okay with that. You know, I understand y'all don't always get the full story. So, you need to take that into consideration. <laughs> uh, because we don't share everything. Lester doesn't share every single detail it, of his life. It seems like it, though. I don't know <laughs> But how he that... really does it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, there are some things that are private. Things come up. Plans get changed. Whether we have animals coming or not. If you have kids. If you have animals. If you have anything going in your life. <laughs> things come up. And... It was a, a, no one's fault. No one backed out. It was just plans changed. So the Dutch said, "Let's go find them, DJ." Hey, <laughs> Dutch, we can go together. <laughs> it, it, listen, it, it wasn't anything. We, I just want you guys to know, we didn't, we didn't back out on Lester and Jamie after they put in days and days, weeks of preparations. That's not what happened. Um, we're still eventually going to get Sue when the timing works out for them and us. We we planned we planned that weeks in advance and when it got right up to it, it wasn't we weren't able to make the connection. Yeah. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's not that big a deal. We but. we still have space. Yes, I did get new donkeys and I'm very excited about it. He's very excited for me. <laughs> and uh <laughs> they are fun. They oh, are fun. fun. And um we still have room for Sue. Just because I completed my herd does not have anything to do with Sue. 
simple as that. And when she gets here, when she gets to come, we will be excited for her. And we will take care of her. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, let's talk about something different. Because yeah. I get I get worked up because it's been well, a rough few days. Some, something different is the, the conference, Video Creators United. Go check it out. Go check out the website. Um, there's not a ton of information on there. But I'm sure you'll be hearing about it from us and Dutch and Jason and Lester and Jamie and everybody that's going to be involved. Um, we'll, we'll figure it all out and we look forward to meeting a bunch of you guys. We look forward to helping you grow your channels, helping you grow your platform. And um, just, I want people to know that this is doable. That this is attainable and not everybody's going to be a half a million subscriber channel, but you don't have to be. Nope. That's the thing. Like, Yes, that's cool and that's fun. Numbers are great. But a lot of people, I mean, like, it supported, like, posting our life on the internet as a business w was really cool to get to teach a lot of people stuff along the way, whether it was tomatoes or stuff at the creek or whatever it was. It, it helped support our family when we needed it for years before it was a full-time income. Yep. Like, we paid off all of our debt through our side hustle on YouTube, basically. My hair, guys, I'm sorry. Well, the wind hit it. Yeah, well, it's we, just... It was a side hustle, and that was, that's what it was yep. for years, and it helped us become debt-free, and now we're able to be able to go and do and do things that I know a lot of people get aggravated at us because we're traveling and doing things, but it's to produce content to bring to you guys. Well, too. I also want to add to that, too, because... You know we're not we're not spenders we're not in my opinion we're not materialistic i'm not a big clothes and purses jewelry kind of person we're not we're not those people and so for me hang on i've got t-shirts with holes in them and my wife's been on me because that is true he literally <laughs> walked out of our house to go somewhere the other day and he looked homeless he had on a pair of shorts that i swear he's had for eight years they're faded they look terrible and, uh, and t-shirt with holes in them. I'm like, I'm taking you shopping. <laughs> I'm like, I'm taking you to TJ Maxx and we're going to get you some clothes. <laughs> and get some bargain clothes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. But uh, I, I want to say that being debt-free and working that hard to, to become that, and we do travel, but we travel not only for content. Obviously, that is a perk. Um, I mean, that helps our business grow and, you know, grow our... Um, let's, let's, let's think about this from the business perspective. As a YouTube content, Facebook content creator, if it's a business and you're treating it like a business and you travel on an airplane to a destination and you stay somewhere and you go shoot videos with other creators or you shoot videos doing something, all of those expenses are deductible. For your taxes. I'm Those also going to add, expenses. this is what I meant to say a while ago and I forgot. Uh, if you purchase a ticket to this event, it's a tax write off for your business. Don't forget that. Um, yes, yeah, so all these trips that we go on, when we share them with you, there are some trips that we, we've gone on that we haven't shared because they're personal, they're private. Um, but th that is. One thing that I love is that, you know, we're not spenders. Uh, I mean, we live, I feel like a very, um, I don't know, what's the word I'm trying to say? Very normal lifestyle. <laughs> it is not flashy. It is not fancy. Um, we are just normal country folk. Um, but we are able to travel now. And I love that we get to take our kids and get these memories and with our family. Uh, um, this is from the mom side, not the frugal. business side. That's the, frugal. That's the word you were looking that's for. That's my word. I, I have always been very frugal. Ask anybody that knows me. <laughs> uh, yes, ask anyone that knows me. Um, but it has allowed us to take our kids and experience things that we wouldn't have gotten to. And and all that glory is, is to the God, to the man himself. Uh, because we wouldn't be able to be sitting here even having this conversation with you. Um, so I want to say that it's all, it, is not, it is not all of our good deeds. It, it is the glory of God, and we're giving it to him. 
and I'm, I'm so grateful um, that we're able to do these things and I'm, I'm excited for, um, I'm excited for this conference. Like it's been a little, there's been a little bit of stress, you know, with it, but it's going to be worth there's it. There's going to be and a lot more stress before it starts <laughs> yes. too, before the first day of the conference. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I think God's kind of put this in front of us and, and Dutch and, and all of us involved. And, um, I think he's going to work it for his glory and uh, for what he wants. And he's got things he's got things happening. And I think amazing things are going to come out of it. So, anyway, sorry, that's my two cents again on a different topic. <laughs> We're up to about ten cents now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I know I don't want to just keep rambling on yeah, forever. No. But this is something that we're really excited about. I know Dutch is really, really excited about it. I mean, I would would say this is our, our idea. It's mostly his idea. <laughs> he just said, hey, you're going to be a part of this. That he said, hey, I need your help because I can't yeah. do this by myself. So um, yeah. this is oh, not, not, my, not my baby, really. But uh, anyways, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I look forward to meeting uh, a lot of you guys there. Also, I'm going to throw this out there, too. Um, I'm, I'm sure you I'm haven't. 15 cents now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sure you haven't thought about it yet, but. That'll be really close to my birthday, so you might should like plan ahead and have a little birthday cake for me. I don't know. No, not a birthday cake, just a cheesecake. Can you make that happen? Cheesecake for everyone on DJ <laughs> for DJ's birthday at the conference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DJ's gonna be forty. I am. On, well, wouldn't be the next weekend. It's just a few days after just a the few conference. Days after the conference, yeah. I am. Forty. Forty, big four zero. Oh. Not me. I'm still a young pup. I'm still young. I don't care. 40 is nothing. <laughs> I still feel like 25-ish, but, you know, Ish. My, my body says otherwise sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. So, what else? I don't know. Do you, I don't know what else to say, to say about anything? the conference. No, we've got your 15 cents in <laughs> okay. tonight. Uh, I know Dutch is on here. Do you have anything else to add about the conference, Dutch? Um, I know he sent me a text while I go and said, make sure everybody knows it's not just for Homestead and farm channels. It's for everyone. I think we covered that pretty well. It's not how to grow a farm channel. Don't think about it like that. No, it's no. not just for YouTube. It's Facebook. There's a ton of, there's a ton of video opportunity on Facebook that people are missing. And I don't understand why I've talked to, I don't know how many friends I have that have YouTube channels. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Oh my God. Houston Firefox. Longtime supporter of AFH and wishing you guys the best. Keep up the Thank great work. You. I really appreciate it. He yeah. gave us a two hundred dollar super oh chat. Gosh. That is unreal. Thank you. And I totally lost my spot where I was going with that. Um it's not there's so many people that I talk to that have YouTube channels. I've made friends all over the country. They're all on YouTube and very few of them will upload a video to Facebook. Because they're like, I don't want to mess up my YouTube channel. It's a totally different audience. Our yeah. audience carryover very is very little. Like mm -hmm. Facebook, everyone told me years ago, you can't grow a platform on Facebook with long format video. 20 minute videos aren't going to work on Facebook. And I was like, why? Why do I need to post a 30 second video of my cat being scared of mm -hmm. a cucumber <laughs> those videos are funny but yeah why not and i started doing it and i started doing it and lo and behold six seven eight months later a video of houston getting a haircut when he had those long curls that was we videoed rough getting day. his haircut mom cried it was an emotional <laughs> day that video got I'm still like, sad about it. it it went i'm not gonna say viral but in a small way it kind of went viral for us got a yeah. couple million views in like two weeks yeah. and pff, like that's all it took. My Facebook page just took off. And I was like, hmm, these long format videos are working. And, and they worked. And Facebook has a monetization program just very similar to YouTube. So anyways, there's a lot of information that I feel all of us can share at this conference to help everyone out. And yeah, there's been about 50 comments asking if that was Houston's new Aquascape pond behind. It and, is. Uh, it is. We haven't shown the full video. The, yeah. the build video will be soon. So. Yeah. Um, Thank you to the walkers for helping, talking over there. Appreciate it. I added the walkers as, as moderator, moderators, yeah. and they're able so, to post some stuff there now. So. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, we we're talking about how they remember Houston's haircut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's he's growing a mullet now. So we, I tried to talk him into growing out his curls again. I offered him a hundred dollars just to see if that would entice him. Well, he was like, mm mm, and I said, okay, how about two hundred? And he was like, no. And so, like literally a year later, the other day, he was like, hey mom, I think I'm gonna grow out a mullet. And I said, oh, you are? And he was like, yeah, maybe my curls will come back then. <laughs> I said, okay, let's try it, but I'm not paying you. <laughs> I'm not paying you to have a mullet. <laughs> and then, um, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, Weston sent us a video, and uh, he has got a mullet now. <laughs> so, you are not getting a mullet. No. You actually did. You did do a mullet. Sort of. I let it grow out for like a month. Yeah. Two months, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it, it was getting a little... <laughs> no, it's weird. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I think that's it. It is almost 10 o'clock here. Yeah. Some of us got to get to bed. I mean, usually we're laying in bed watching YouTube. <laughs> that's right. So. Uh... We don't just produce content. We consume content. <laughs> yeah. We are YouTube consumers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it tonight. Yep. Dad, gum. Is that another one? Yes. Houston Firefox sent another $200 oh super gosh. chat. Houston. Houston and Weston mullets. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> well, they're, Weston's is in. His is legit. Houston, it's taken Houston a little while because he was so short. Well, yeah. He had that high and tight burnt. yeah and then he's like i think i want to grow a mullet i'm like well um, you should have done that first someone asked what a mullet was a mullet what's a mullet it's a business up the front, front and a party long. in the back so it's like <laughs> billy ray cyrus yeah, come on billy ray cyrus or Achy, just breaky heart yeah just google it just google mullet and see yeah. what comes up <laughs> joe dirt that yeah joe, joe dirt. dirt's the there ultimate mullet right yes, there yes yep. <laughs> um <clears throat> Yes, Houston still has the scooter that he caught magnet yeah, fishing. They were it's actually here. sitting right over here on the yeah. patio right now. It's the craziest thing. I've never seen a scooter that throws sparks, sparks. when you hit the brakes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, guys. I think we're going to get off here. What was it say? Michael said, um, may you give a shout out to my wife. Is it Eileen uh -huh. Atwater? Yeah. She's watching and just had twin girls. Oh, my God. Congratulations. That is cool. Congratulations. Is. I do not envy you having twins. <laughs> I, however, think it would have been, I'm not going to use the word fun because newborn, two newborns at one time would not have been fun, but I think later it would have been fun until they became teenagers. Yeah, when they hit about three, four <laughs> years old. Yeah. To, a, super to 13, fun. Yeah, that, age. that would be fun. Yeah. But congratulations on twins. Man, that's <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. Someone, uh, someone asked if I was friends with Trooper Orr. That's Brian Orr. He was, um, he was a uh, attack attack officer in my mm -hmm. academy, my patrol school, and he's a very large, scary man. He was very scary. <laughs> yep. But he's a cool dude. He's actually the the um, uh, security guard for the OU football coach. There's a video of him. If you type like go to YouTube and type like. Um, Police officer tackles football on police officer tackle on football field or something. It's at OU. He made the best tackle of this dude. I think he was naked or half naked running across running the, across yeah. the football field mm -hmm. in a football game. Yeah, it was pretty cool. The best tackle of the whole game was the trooper, and it was awesome. Yeah. I don't even think he lost his hat. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Brian Orr is a he's a total beast of a man. He's huge. Yeah, such a cool guy though. Yes, I do yeah. know who he is. So. Anyways, it has nothing to do with this video. Yeah. <laughs> Go check out Video Creators United website. If you're interested, check into it and yep. maybe maybe purchase a ticket. If not, I totally get it. There's a lot of other ways to grow a YouTube channel. I'm not saying we're the like experts by any means. We're just wanting to share our knowledge of what we've learned over years and years and years of experience. Yep. We can tell you a lot of things not to, not to do. Not to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but one thing you need to do if you don't already go find my channel. Look at that. She put in her 15 <laughs> cents and a shameless plug tonight. Yeah. Do your of best. Course. Do your best. She just hit 30,000 subscribers. Yay. That is so cool. Congratulations. Thanks. Where's my cheesecake? 
Um, I don't know. Uh, Michael said, Eileen is blushing. Thank you. Aww. It's, I don't know if she's blushing or she's just flushed from having twins. That, oh, yeah. I can't imagine. She's probably You're, relaxing right now, trying yeah. to. Yeah. So, all right, guys, we're going to get off of here, go to bed. It's 10 o'clock. It's DJ's bedtime. She's like, <laughs> she turns into a zombie after dark. Kind of do. So, all right. Good night, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Maybe we'll get to see some of you in August. Yes. Do your best. <laughs>